And you said there was a nest in there. Yep. With black things in it. Black spikes of an uncertain material. Black material. And I would have no idea what they were as a character. Give me a dungeoneering check. Was that plus three, wasn't it? You have no idea. Oh, uh, really want to set this on fire, but that would piss the birdie off. I am um, going to chuck a smoke stick on the ground. What's a smoke stick? Smoke grenade. Okay, you chuck a smoke grenade on the ground in an empty room. No, 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 I pinged. Where? Yeah. Okay, what's the hey. radius on it? I am literally trying to find out. Smoke stick. That's on us. Yep. Okay, yeah, the smoke fills a 10 foot cube. So basically, everything outside, this outside. Yeah. Okay, everybody is in that uh, smoke at the moment. And you just hear the dwarf, the dwarf thing. Time to hide. And the dwarf could not be more right. The manticore rolls loudly, and um, it attempts to spike attack. How can it spike attack me from on top of the roof when I'm there? Ranged. Yep. Spikes are ranged. Spikes are ranged. <laughs> Spike are ranged. And I'm covered in smoke. Yeah, you're, you're good consuming, so there's a 20% chance it uh, misses. It's classed as fog. Yeah, it's consuming. You have 20, it has 20% chance on any hit, even if it hits, to miss. Uh, let's see. It has about... Ooh. Uh, no, I, I, we're in total concealment. All the consumer and that you said it was 20 you said it was 20 feet high creatures further away than five feet have uh, so it has a 50 percent chance to miss them and the attacker can't use sight to locate the target yeah so how, how does it locate me then it, it can attack when it's in no location and uh, it has a 50 percent chance of missing but anyway it does not hit your target armor so um it is actually one second something i had um. I didn't figure out. Do they shoot shoot six spikes in a row, or just one at a time? I know they have a limit of how many they can shoot in a day. It has an ammo of six spikes. I think it's so. like the mog that have an ammo of fifty stones. Yeah, yeah, they have an they have an ammo. Yeah. I was just checking because it says Vori at some time in the monster manual. I was like, seriously, six Vori's of six arrows. Anyway. Uh, yeah, the other things that can throw stones can throw a volley of three. But Alexander, if it doesn't stay... It is your turn. Oh, it happens to be my turn. So what do I see from here? You see nothing. You see smoke. smoke. Everybody might want to get back inside. Bad idea. I'll just stay in front of the smoke here with the crossbow ready. Nothing else to do. Okay, say so well. Um, I'm also in the smoke, right? You are also in the smoke, yes. If I move a little bit in, am I still in the smoke? Okay. I, I dropped it here. How high does the smoke go? It is a 10 foot cube. Ten f can I see above and see the manticore? You cannot see the manticore. Okay, I'll just reload my crossbow. Okay. Goblin World Rider is. Confused, so he's gonna look back at Cough, and Cough is gonna say, "Attack you, Wickling," and uh, it's gonna react to you as it has been told. So it gets inside. Um, it's uh, well, it's closer, so I think he's yes, five foot. Five foot is concealment. Yeah. Okay, sees Jor, uh, attacks Jor, and bites Jor. That's a miss. That's a miss. Oh god, this guy is lucky. Okay. Um, <laughs> Volrek, it is your turn. Does Hennessy not go this time? 
Oh, so he, he went outside. Uh, Hennessy went outside, yes. Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? He didn't attack, but he moved. Yep, so it's your turn now. Uh, can I light a tinder twig and throw it in the... A tinder twig? In the... Uh, a match, basically. Uh, throw it into the, um, the nest. And still move. Well, that yeah, would be I, your full turn. Yeah, that would be my full turn, yeah. I, uh... Wait, no, no, no. No. Where do you have the Tundra Twig? In my pouch. Okay, go on. I, I specifically have them on my belt pouch as well, if you look yeah, at my I thing. Know, I've got, I've got different you. things. Yeah. Uh, I have all the things like that. My, my thunderstones, my spoke sticks, and everything in there. Go on. Uh, so yeah, I, I throw it in. Well, I, I'm guessing I can just toss it, because it's close enough. Yeah, yeah you can just into toss the it. Thing. And then... It tries to catch on fire easily. And then I go... That way. And then I just say, Dwarf coming through! And go between Alexander's legs. Okay. Uh, well, oh, cough. Okay. So this guy goes here. One second. Opens his mouth. And breathes fire down. Uh, Damn wings. 15 feet around here, so it would get Jor, the Warg, the Rider, and Hennessy. So, all of you do me. Actually, no, he's doing a 15 feet count, so you don't actually see it coming. So, you don't get reflexes. No, I'm gonna say you don't get reflexes because you, do you have no idea it's coming. You don't well, see they're it. in the smoke, so yeah, they're in the but smoke. Hen Hennessy would. Hennessy is I five. I, ca is five I, cast, feet. I cast it. I cast it there. Yeah, yeah Hennessy is five feet. Square. Hennessy is five feet. So Hennessy, you are aware of this. You do get your reflex check, but nobody else does. So jo Joel kind of would, depending on where he was stood. No, 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 he doesn't because it's he's a bit in the air as well. Uh, just let me see how much damage does he do. Okay, do me that reflex check. DC, what's the DC? Um, I have it here. God damn it, combat spell. DC 18. Okay, you, you exactly hit it. Um, so you take half damage. No damage. No damage. Yeah, you have uncanny evasion. dodge. Uncanny oh, No, I evasion. have evasion. Evasion. Whichever. Oh, uh, okay. Well, joy does not look good at all. Better not melt our fucking gold. Twelve. <laughs> Says the lawful crusader. And, uh, <laughs> well. Ta -da -da. He effectively kills the rider on this. Uh, how tall? Is, how tall is the cone? Fifteen feet cone. No, and how tall is it? Tall. It's he's up in the air and he breathes it down basically. There's no way he can, he can hit Go on, the make him, make him, make him one shot the magic core. Uh, the uh, work is down. Uh, sorry, the work the um, guy's down, and now it's Joe's turn. Joe is gonna attempt and five foot step from here, and uh, spend the rest of his turn moving inside, uh, trying to get his parts of his uh, jacket that is burning out. Hennessy, your turn. Alright, I am going to, uh, do my tumble-tumble thing, because I think I provoke going through that square. Which which square? Ah. That. Yeah, you do provoke. That square, yeah, so I will do my tumble-tumble thing to move to there. There's a wall. Yeah, he yeah I around, go around through you. Okay. Okay, that's a make. Okay, move. Uh, I think that's what. What else do you, you want to do? Um. At this point, there's not really a lot I can do, so I guess I'll end my turn. Okay, everybody is. In oh, actually. Actually, I, I do have one thing I'm going to do. Go. I'm going to toss a uh, handful of 
marbles right there. Okay. Because that creature with wings is always gonna step in them. Oh, he blacked an area out. That's not good. Wait, we, hang, on. Next... We could, hang on, we can still see outside. The dragon is coming. still see outside. One second, I'm gonna... The dragon I'm is gonna, coming. I'm gonna remake it. It's, it's a lot easier to polygon reveal. But you cannot see past this, I think. Because there's a smoke. It's too big. How long does this uh, smoke last? Uh, not too long. How much? 10 minutes a level for fog. No. 10 minutes a level? <laughs> that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, hang on. Sorry. No, no. It's dissipating now. Sorry. It, it treats the effect as the fog cloud spell. However, the stick is consumed after one round and then the smoke naturally dissipates. Okay. So it's already gone. So it's kind of spreading now. It's kind of spreading. Uh... Well, let's see what else you guys would see. You would see this. Still see this. Okay. I'm still see Mr. Kaka. I'm gonna give you this. Uh, the manticore is gonna fry up. It's gonna uh, be yeah. rare. Chucky from. Questionable memory. When I went into this room over on the side, did that staircase lead up? Um. Yes. Ah. Uh. Okay, uh, now we have uh, Alexander. Go. The Alexander, one of the people, people with the crossbows. So... Alexander is one of the people with the crossbows. Yes. I tell you that in that room over there, there's a staircase that leads up. You might be able to shoot out of a window or something. But these things have wings, so it's not smart to go there. Yeah, but we can't, they can't squeeze through a window. I'll just go in that room, in, the, in any case. Okay. What do I see? Do you see the same door, the same room that I described to... Just one. Uh, ...to him, but you do see something else? Through the uh, crack, the big crack in the wall, up? Yes. See what do I see? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay. I just see this, or <laughs> it sees you. Oh, hang on. He would, he, he would have, he would have seen it move. Yes, everybody I mean, saw it move. move, but you don't know where because he. Wait, it it would have No, no, no! It didn't fly that. It raised itself in the air and so, flew in this direction. I but mean, as I it. open the door from here, would I see it inside and not go in? No, or... no, no. you need to go in and look because it's up. So you do inspect the room. It's not like you walk in. Okay, Mantico. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's up in the corner. There's like a big hole. It's up in the corner. Do I have? I no, it's up in the corner. And it's, go it's coming down. Can I move back? <laughs> yeah, can you can. How much do you move? I moved one, two, three, three, fifteen zero. feet. Uh, five. Fifteen feet. And that's one, two, three, four. Move fifteen feet. I can yeah. move. I can move one no, more. You move, you move 20 because you couldn't move. This is a border here where Varek is staying. Varek is staying between right. two borders. So I move 20. Yep. And uh, my speed is 30. I can move 10 more. Yep. So I'll go back here. Uh, back here, jump on the bed. Say, Manticar! Okay. Uh, one second. I need to check this. Check this back into this, and then uh, we have uh, which was the turn order? Now we have Cyrell. Go, Cyrell. Hearing Manticore and seeing him run away, I move in position to take a shot at the door, and I prepare an action that as soon as I see the Manticore, I will shoot. It's like the lame turn. Okay. Did I get the action. I mean, that's how it's Pathfinder. Not sure if it works the same here. Can you prepare actions into room five? Uh, you can prepare. Actions. Yeah, you can prepare. Okay, I will be ready to shoot as soon as I see the manticore. How high up did the manticore look? Mm -hmm. 
it's like, oh, uh, it's your turn, Goblin. The work is just gonna run inside and attack Varak. Oh, that misses Varak. Varak, it is your turn. How high up did the, did the manticore look? Alexander, how high up did the manticore appear to be? High enough and it's coming down to us. How high is high if enough? If you ask, if you ask, if you ask that, you're gonna use a standard action to talk. Because That's a simple fucking question. How high did it look up? Yeah, but a free action is just that. A free action is just a simple question. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I am waiting for a simple answer. You, you were answered. High enough. Really? Really, Nick? To chop on us, yes. Really, Nick? Indeed. Thank and you. your thank, thank, six seconds are up. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> really, Nick. Thank you, thank you, Nick. I, sp I spend my entire turn just thanking Nick. Okay, so uh, that would be uh, the end of that conversation. So, Valak, what do you do? I spend the entire turn thanking Nick. Or Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. don't spite, don't sp spite him, but don't spite your character. I, I actually just spend the entire turn thanking Nick. Maybe I want to throw a thunderstone at something, but I don't know how high it is, so I'll just attack what's in front of me. It's in another room. It doesn't matter if it's in another room. I've got how a do they know how high is the room? Well, you got an I estimate. don't have a ruler in my eyes. An estimate. estimate. Well, then my character would automatically estimate being an experienced adventurer. Here you go. Right, I again... I again, is it just to damage? Yes, it's just to damage. Yeah, so we just get plus two to attack. Against the rider. Uh, that, uh, the rider is dead. The rider is dead? Oh, okay, against the, the That's a hit. animal. That's a hit. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Oh shit, this guy took uh, fire damage. Oh. Shit, okay. I think he will wave all that. Yeah, I did all that. Um, mm -hmm. It is a turn. Did it die, you said? I said it is a turn. No, it's not a. Uh, say well and uh, Can I take my five foot step? Where are you facing? Dead. I'm aiming at the door. Yes, 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 you can. I have a production to shoot the first thing that comes out of the door. Or... Where are you facing? I toss marbles that way, so that's where I'm facing. You, fa you, you toss marble this way? Yep. Okay. Yeah, this guy walks in. And ah! Balance yeah. check! That was pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good foreshadowing. Yes, um, wings. Yeah, but no, he doesn't, he walks in. I use the word walk in. Yes, but why would he walk? He can't fly through a doorway. He wings out flap like this. Okay, so uh, what's the D, what's the fix check? It's a balance check 15. Balance check. Um, let us see if he has balance. Where's the... He does not have balance. Let's see if Wouldn't it just be a reflex save? No. Nope. It's a balance check. What's his dex? Plus three. Fifteen, you said? Yep. He makes it. It was a fourteen plus three. He's well, okay. it counts as a uh, difficult terrain, so... Yeah, um... Well, difficult or not, he's gonna do what he's gonna do, and he's gonna open his mouth and uh, he's gonna do lightning blast on you suckers so Cyril you are not you're not looking that way you do not get a uh, refix check but Hennessy you do get a refix check um, so go you fail 
So both of you take two, two, five, I think. Three D six, isn't it? Wait, let me check. Three D six, yes. Uh, so that's nine, nine points of damage, both of you. I go up to twelve damage. You are at twelve damage. Uh, Hennessy is at um, seventeen damage taken. Uh, would you not hit the log as well? Uh, 15 feet cone, no. No. Sure. Nope, it's 15 feet cone. Yeah, cone. Yeah, it doesn't hit the wog. Yeah, yeah, definitely a wog in that. Mm, doesn't hit the wog. Okay, uh, next, uh, next no turn would be Jor. Jor is fucking pissed. He attacks this wog. If he hits. And he hits and he kills it because it has 1 HP. Okay, work is down. Uh, the works go out of the order. So uh, now it's as in Hennessy's turn. Go. Oof. I am probably gonna regret this. But every time I say that, I tend to do something very cool. <laughs> okay, show me something that. very cool. Ten feet, and I am going to uh, attack that the bugbear guy throwing lightning. Do it. And no. Nope. Heal trampling inside of the room and uh, <gasps> the door smashes open as the man Repeat. moves through. Yeah, and then the walls are effectively smashed. Okay, my uh, prepared action should yeah, come into play. Go ahead, go ahead. I said, okay. Animus. Enemies. Um, hmm, Did I get an attack of opportunity? No, it moved. It moved inside of your threatened scroll. It didn't yeah, just it. move, it knocked down a fucking wall. Yeah, it knocked down <laughs> a fucking wall. Um, well, uh, the Manticore's turn is going to. So knock down a wall and get the turn. Yes. Actually. Nah, I'm gonna say no. Knocking down the wall has taken it. It moved. It moved down from the wall, and then it knocked down the wall. So it's it's pretty pretty tired. Yeah, it needs to take a turn. Uh, Alexander, it is your turn. What do you do, Alexander? The party All is right. counting on you. Um, should I take the engineering or kind of to see if the Manticore has any immune to see the immune to the Manticore has? Uh, you should do a dungeoning to see if you know anything about it first. Yes. Do I know anything about it? You know a couple of a couple of stuff about it. Let me now open my. Uh... <coughs> Monster manual. And nice. This is the first one here. Okay. Um, what are we looking for? Manticore. No, Manticore, what were you looking for and like, what were you trying to figure out? If uh, the lightning bolt would be effective. Um, doesn't, you don't know of any... Um, anything special. Anything special about it, like doesn't have any damage reductions. Alright, then I'll make a 5 foot hop to the other side of this bed. And uh, try to cast through a scroll. What? This needs to be above 14. Nope. Another scroll is unavailable. Two scrolls unreadable, one used, two left to use. Okay, that is your end. Um, Would I be able to attack with the crossbow anyway? Nope, because you took. After failing to read? No, no, you took a 5 foot step back. Alright. Cyro. Um. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm tempted to calm emotions. But no, I'll move out of the room and heal myself. Okay, good. And I'm full HP. Uh, yes, you are full HP. Uh, Valrak, what do you do? So I'm behind the Mandico, aren't I? What? I'm behind the Mandico. You are not behind the Manticore, you're to its side. At this moment, think that half of the Manticore is on the other side of the room, so he should be in a place where it can't cover anyway. Okay. Below its wing or something. Aren't they flanking it? We should he has be. a crossbow, so he is uh, threatening anyways, and... No, we should be flanking, flanking because flanking. it's half inside the room. You're not flanking. It is flat-footed on its count. But it doesn't really mean much because it's AC is shit. Um, I see that our rogue friend is in a bit of, bit of trouble. So, you see that, yes. first things first, he gets to act again. That's my swift action. Alright, I will attempt to uh, full attack the guy in front of me. Good. Nope. Maybe. Actually, that should be one less, so it would be a 16. Keep forgetting the short sword is in a plus one. I just need to look into something. Oh, does your um, does your skill say you reset somebody's initiative? I reset their initiative to mine. To you. And, and if they've already acted, they can act again. Does it say that? Yep. Okay, great. Uh, well, 17, 18, this guy has. Uh, no, that's not enough. 17 okay. and uh, 14 is not enough. Even though he's flat footed because he's on the marbles. Oh, uh, he's not flat footed. Nope. He managed his balance check. Well, he managed his first balance check. He has to make another balance check at the start of his next turn because he attacked. Yep. Let's see if he makes it. Yep, 19. Aww. Yeah, and then for my action. For your action, yep. Yeah. I will. Switch stance. I can switch stance instead of moving, can I? Yeah. As, my, as my standard action. Yeah. So I'm going to switch to Stonefoot stance. Actually, no, I'm going to switch to Ice Guard Slayer stance. So everything gets a every enemy gets a minus four penalty to attacking allies. And I am going to Mountain Hammer strike this fucker. Do it. And I'm to its side. That's plus one. Plus one. That is not a hit. Not hit. Yes. You failed to hit a Manticore. Uh, it is a Cough's turn. Cough is gonna look at. Um, let's see what can. What did I give this guy? What else can he do? How can he fuck you up? Anything he does, he has to make a balance check to see if he He's falls. already made it. Oh, I just no. made it a couple of seconds ago. Um, just looking at what can this guy He'll have do? to make the balance check next turn, then, too. So you've only got six anything. seconds. You're under pressure, six seconds. <laughs> okay, he's gonna do something known as uh, deafening lore. Yep, everybody is affected uh, in front of him. Everybody, do me a 40 dude check. Each and every one of you. The Manticore included. Manticore included. Uh, those who made it. Uh, uh, what check, sorry? Four check. Forty-two check. Nobody has. Well, we know it. who got affected by yeah. a deafening roar. Um, is, is it deafening. a spell like? I'm not. I haven't fucking rolled yet. Is it a spell like effect? Okay. Uh, it is an invocation. So yes. 
95 it's pretty good you, you okay by this uh Mandico has a fourth of uh, sec fourth of Mandico is nine it's so a 16 that's enough for it so it is infected but everybody else is deaf for this doesn't matter this does matter Remember those spells you casted with um, with somatic components where like you need to talk? I'm deaf, that doesn't mean it's I can't talk. It's gonna be harder to do it. No, yeah. you get spell you get, you, you, you get a spell king failure chance. Yes. Okay. Every... And this is counted as an offensive uh, attack, right? Uh, this is counted as an invocation. Well, I mean, it's... Offensive, it's attacking someone. No, no, no I don't think it's. Uh, just me, give me one second to check invocations. is a attack so now it right. raises above the ground slightly using its wings um whenever it has it whenever it uh, tries to move in or out of that square or use an attack action it has to roll a balance check to see if it falls it doesn't do an, an, an a balance check if it flies up okay but it did make an attack so it has to do the balance check anyway yeah, it did the 19 it did, it did but it also attacked last turn with the cone of the breath no. of lightning. Last time uh, it, it walked into the space and then attacked. Yeah, and then, then it attacked. It did, then so it, it gets this, in this rolls. round, no, no, in this no, no. round, you attacked it and it rolled yes, its balance. Yes, but it hasn't done three rolls. It does. It gets two rolls for walk. One for walking into the square. One for lightning, and then one for the deafening shout. Okay, let's see. Fifteen plus three. That's yep, a make. It succeeds. Uh, it is Joy's turn. Uh, Joe will see what Joe would, what would Joe do. Joe will um, take his bill off his back and uh, move Actually, here. Actually, did you say an invocation with a spell-like ability? I think it's a supernatural ability. Just because if it was a spell-like ability, it's a spell-like ability, Wait. like Eldritch Blast. Then um, our rogue friend gets an attack. No. And the chance to disrupt it. Yes, I do. Okay. I didn't know that. Ooh, I did not know that as well. Where's the, where, where, where have I found it? I was looking for invocations in the DM. I, I didn't find invocations, but I found... Um... It's a spell-like ability. If it's a spell-like ability, it's treated like casting a spell. Yeah, it's not always. That's why I'm saying. Oh, yeah, I know. Just... Check invocations, because invocations are different. They're, they're from dragon magic. Uh... Is that an incantation? Invocation. Invocation, not an incantation. It's the warlock ability. Okay, no, it's a dragonfire adept actually. Well, warlocks use this invocations too, so it's... Yeah, constitution... Fuck, where's the... An invocation is therefore a standard action that provokes attacks of opportunity. Uh, your From warlock. Dragonfire is a definite uh, spell like abilities. Yes, they are spell like abilities. Provokes an attack opportunity. Which could interrupt the, the spell. Which could interrupt the spell, yes. So, 24 on my to hit. <laughs> my to hit, so if you do hit, let's see your his concentration check. I think he does have some concentration on. Let's check. Good job on that um, DM way buff. Whoever said it. Uh, I doubt I disrupt. <laughs> I doubt you do, but he doesn't have concentration, so I'm sure you actually might. Yeah, he doesn't oh. have concentration. No, you don't. He was a 19. <laughs> He's okay. You're all deaf. Uh, everybody except Volak. So there's no way you can communicate. The Kamira? The Manticore? The Manticore is okay. 
It's four check is plus nine. Plus nine. It's okay. Uh, four round. No, sir. Um. By the way. One hour. One hour. By the way. Go on. You said that Jor just unsheathed his bow. Yeah. But didn't he drop it when it was behind the boulder and he was getting attacked by the warg? You are right. He dropped it to right. pick up his sword, so he shouldn't be able to so sheath it. He's gonna go. He's gonna go down here, take his bow and sheath his weapon, and that's okay. that's the end, his end. So Hennessy, it is your turn. Lovely. I am going to uh, attack the guy in front of me again. Do it. Twenty-four is a hit. Lovely. Four more damage, and I'm going to move back and out. It doesn't. It doesn't really look like it's taken almost any damage. Yeah. Okay. But I have damage on me, so. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do me a tumble trick if you're moving that way. Oh. I suppose I do exit one of his squares. Yeah, and you can't five-step move. Well, I didn't five-step move. I'm just saying you can't because okay. then you're going to be a move. 27, that's okay. Uh, Manticore is going to... Uh, it doesn't really have a good position of Rorak, so uh, it's not even... It doesn't even see you, I think. It doesn't see you. So it's just gonna move in front. So Varek, bring you down. You do take an attack of opportunity. Me? No, no Varek gets an attack of opportunity. I don't strike. I can't strike on an attack of opportunity. Can no, I? you can't. Um, and plus two for behind it. Um, yeah, yeah, plus two for behind it. Get fucked. That's a twelve. That says not Wait, enough. Wait, is it only plus two? Wait, the chamber uh, normal. No, I, I, sorry, I had nine to that. Okay. Add twenty-one. That's a uh, that, that's a twenty-one. That's a hit for your damage. What thingy did I have on? Oh, I had the minus four attacks in there. Yeah. And I activate my blood letter on it, which has boom, boom, boom. How many charges have I been collecting so far? A lot, I think. I think I'm at max for it. My bloodlet fitting is at five points. So, which is point. ten damage, isn't it? Yeah, two damage for the blood, and I think it's five is max, isn't it? Yeah. So you do I, I discharge all of them. Nineteen damage to it. Get wrecked, manicor. Let's let's make this a bit fun. I'm gonna show you. Uh, that's a tree. Bar free. HP bar? I'm gonna show you it's HP bar, yeah. Probably to a F. Probably less actually, like it's meant to bar. I'm gonna show this um, experience as, uh, bar as well. Oh. Okay. So, Alexander. They seem fairly full. I don't know, I can't see for the circle, but it still looks pretty full. Well, I didn't yeah. really, I didn't really say for whom it is fun. <laughs> okay, thank you. My pleasure. Well, well. Running back at the entrance is not an option unless I want to die. Exactly. <laughs> wait, so, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. The Matico hasn't attacked you yet. Oh, it doesn't need you. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> I insist on it. I insist on it. The Maybe it got shocked from the bloodletting uh, and it see. forgot. Started. Yes, I because, forgot. Because because you forgot, I'm not gonna do a full attack on you. I'm just gonna do a spike attack on you. You can't do a full attack on you then. And a five foot step. Yes, you can. Nineteen. If a five foot step, Shit. I wouldn't be able to attack That's you. That's a quit. Oh, that too. Alexander, it's a... you have been yeah. quitted. Again? Uh, okay, you can <laughs> Is it the, the last I'm time? Gonna, I'm gonna let you go the one you 100. Hang on, did, did, did you take into account the fact that it was a minus 4 as well? Because I've got Me, last time. It rolled a 19 plus 8. Yeah, but it still can miss. <laughs> not on a real, not on a mage. Roll a 1d100, I'm gonna let you go with death row. What might be your death row. Hmm. You're because I'm, I am right horrible now. like that. 
I'm a horrible human being. Do it. You're, and I'll, I'll know I'll roll at 100 or something. He's making you dig your own grave. Basically, yeah. Do it. Well. Roll 100. Roll 100. Roll 100. <laughs> one. Come on, I do it. No, oh, trust me, you want to roll 100. Roll 100. Roll 100. Roll 100. I put the get out. Oh, Ooh. no! <laughs> Strike falls and leaves you shaken for 1d2 rounds. That could have been a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are stricken back 5 feet. You're here now. Oh, and you are shaken for 1d2 rounds. That's okay to bring out a DM screen. Shaken, 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 shaken. I think it's minus 5, maybe? On everything. I don't know. Act. Maybe only one of two actions. I think you, you can't do. act at all. I've got them up here. Uh, right, a shaken character takes a minus two penalty on attack roll, saving throw, skill checks, and ability check. For oh. one minus two rounds. A minus two on everything, basically. So, for two rounds. Two rounds minus two everything. And you do take damage, that is double. So I take 40 damage. Yeah, it's 5 plus 1. Chucky, you've added this is table. Or did it clear by 10? 2. It does. Dude, it rolled a 19 plus 8. Yeah. These, the, these, these clerics, they have high. No, high, high, high. high, um, high yes. Shit, I, shit, don't you interrupt me with my math. I forgot okay. what I said. 5, five plus, plus 1, 6 plus, 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 plus 2, 7, 8. Uh, three no, it's not, it's it. not strength because it doesn't get strength on range attacks. Uh, oh, so it's doing take, a spike, sorry. Yeah, uh, you take 8 damage, it is not that big. I expected more. How much damage do you take? 8 damage. 8 damage only? 8 damage only, yeah, I expected eight more. I told me what death rolls. Uh, hang on, you said, it does a range, hang on. you said it does a ranged attack. Yeah. Oh. Does that not mean I get another attack of opportunity? Do you, yeah, have the the feet. Do you have the feet that lets you attack opportunity more than once per turn? Yep. Combat reflexes. Uh, I have that, do I? Yeah, you need to have that to take more attack opportunity. Attack opportunity equal to your attack modifier. No, oh, what a cunt. Uh, you have 12 damage taken on you, so I will go. Um, I reload my, my crossbow and shoot the Manticore on the side. I'm in the miss. Fail. Valrak. Back. Chucky, it's like fucking the man mode time now. I, the, I, I, I don't drop the shield, but I, I, I take the shield off. You, you know how you can undo the buckle? Yeah. And I'm going to wield the hammer and two hands. And I'm going to strike this fucker so hard. <coughs> and I'm probably going to miss doing me in combat. Do I have any... I have any bonuses I can get from yeah, anywhere. I need I need stuff to hit me. Back Somebody back. hit me, please. Somebody yeah. hit me. You have back. You're flanking it. Yes, but I can do a lot more deeps if I'm hurt. It's <laughs> also a, a back attack. Yeah, yeah. It's not being flanked again. That's a hit. Doesn't Alexander have a crossbow in his hand? He doesn't. He doesn't flank it because. It's, um, I'm dazed, I'm he's not broken or something. He's, and he's shaken. Well, shaken just gives you minus two. No, no. He hey, was hey, thrown hey. five feet on the ground and shaken. He's counted as prone. Okay. I oh, I only, I only ever had it been knocked back five feet. But so I should. No, at 94, he's down. Uh, what's one and a half of three? One, a one. A one. Oh, that's a bit she. Never mind. No, it, you always round it down. 16. That's a that's a nice amount of damage. That's a nice amount of damage. It kind of. Let's remove one of the the spheres of the Manticore. Uh, yeah, another. Uh, it screams in pain. Um, cough is gonna look at. Uh, Chucky up. By the way, if it has any damage reduction, um, I, I overcome its damage reduction. Doesn't with have. That. Doesn't have any damage reduction. Does it have any natural hardiness? It has no natural hardiness. Yeah, just not have it overcome. The worm, worm lord um, flies over 
No, you guys are fly over. Um, this invocation is. Also, hang on, can I? It says you've got a base attack bonus of plus one. You can unloosen your shield as a free action. So then, if I strike, can I put the shield back on as my like move action? Yeah. Yeah, I put my shield back on in it. It fries up into the room a bit. As I said, the room is open and spacey. It, it fries to over here. But then, if it was open and spacey, how did, how why couldn't we see him when he flew above it? He wasn't inside of the room. He was outside. It's open and spacey inside. Up. Oh, I thought it meant like you meant like the open roof. And Valdrak. Well, you need to do me a fort check. I'm blatantly hidden behind that boulder and 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 the and the fort and check, the dude's tail. Fort check. Is it using a spell-like ability? It is. Uh, using Just like a plus one against them. You using a spell-like ability? No, you ruined my pre pretty pretty spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Nothing happens to you. What happens to the whim? Nothing happens. What did he do? He Don't have to tell me. He, he, uh, what did you? Yeah, he doesn't. I don't think there's. I think uh, you don't have to tell me. What he did, he, what he did just he did weakening curse on you. Six minus six to strength, basically. Oh, that one. <laughs> oh, should just said tricky. <laughs> Uh, Joy's turn. Joy's gonna shoot at. Gonna move here and shoot at Cough. And he quit! 20! God, this dude. God, 60. Does he only crit? I think, it, he, I think his normal attacks are normal, like. He normal attacks, he quits, basically. 61. That's triple fucking damage. That's a 1d8. Uh, 3d8. Uh, 3d8, but I think he has a masterwork. He has a plus one on only. So, that's 4... 10... 18. Okay. He uh, he's taken an amount of damage. Um, Hennessy, your turn. Oh, what was this? Well, actually, what was wasn't I thing? after Valkrath? Valrak? No, you appear on the. Uh... Uh, no, I reset his initiative to be the yeah. same as mine. Oh yeah. So, I think oh well. I think that counts. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. So it's actually the Manticore's turn first, and then it's you and Valrak. But uh, I didn't get last turn. Oh, you're right. Uh, I you should have gone after me. You should have gone after you, so yeah. go. Go eat it now. Alright. I'm going to drop my uh, um, weapon, my rapier and short sword, and take out my uh, um, sling while I hide. And then I'm going to go around the corner and fire my sling at Wormlord. Can you really do that all in one turn? Yeah, dropping uh, is free action, action is move moving action. and hiding at the same time. I know, but like hiding and then attacking to get like the hide bonus, it's like it just sounds yep. completely daft. It's kind of like standing in the corner and like going around the corner and then going, Speakable! <laughs> <laughs> That's like literally the image I got in my head there. It's like you're know, you, like James Bond in a pocket, yeah, pocket against the, the, the wall with this thing and then, <laughs> One second, I can do that because you moved, you took out the weapon, then you hid, and then you attacked. It doesn't work like that. You can do that only if you don't move, because you need to take... But I can I can draw a weapon during a move action, and I can hide during a move action. Yeah. Can we do both at the same time? You can do okay. both at the same time. Alright. Well then, I'll uh, take the turn to hide then. Okay. I Ooh. guess. Uh, it's Why? not the course turn. Uh, Mantico is gonna finally turn around and face Valrak, seemingly uninterested in the Alexander as he's down for what he sees. And he's going to do a full attack on our friend here. Oh shit, okay. What's your AC? Valrak. 
22. Wasn't 22? Shit. God damn it. It was a one. God damn it. You 100? Fumble before me. Fumble before me, Magico. 59. Let's say you swing and lose your footing. Unless you take a round to recover, you have minus one to attack. Oh, okay. Get some minus two to combat rolls. Uh, it does not because it's in, it's in, in, in a full attack, so it does bite. It, it, it fails completely, but it takes a minus two to its attacks and <coughs> bites you, which is a miss, of course. God damn it, Matt I'm disappointed in you. Go, Alexander. I'll... Oh, let's poke it a bit. I'll get up first. Okay, and that's, the... the, that's your move action. Yes. And I'll take a bolt out of my pouch and use the launch bolt spell to automatically launch it at the manticore. Okay. Uh, so that should deal the damage of a medium crossbow. So 1d8. 8, yes. And I lose the bolt, of course. That's a 4. It's 0 level spell. I can cast 4. Mm -hmm. uh, don't you need to do an attack roll as well? Uh, I don't think for launch bolt. You just launch it over in a range of 80 feet. Okay, that's that's legit. Uh, you fall damage to it. It's going down slowly but surely. So well, go. Um, reload and shoot the manticore. Do it. And miss again. Yeah, that's that's what happens. Power echo. Two things. I think I need a roll. Yeah, because I use two things. Uh, uh, Storm Beast and Mountain Hammer Strike. Two and seven. And I get Mountain Hammer Strike back. And I'm going to switch stance. I'm going to get a uh, stone foot stance. I'm going to get plus two to strength checks and plus two bonus to AC against larger foes. And then I am. Um, I'm going to mountain hammer. No, yeah, I'm going to mountain hammer. No, 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 no. I'm going to lead the attack. Uh, strike it, and um, if I hit allies, get plus four bonus on attacks against what I strike. Okay. And I'm guessing I'm just on normal attack rolls now. Yep. Uh, 18 is a hit. Go. Dead damage. Yeah. Okay, uh, Hennessy, your turn. Alright, I'm going to pop around and, uh, sneak attack Wormlord. Do it. And I miss. You miss. Wormlord is gonna fly out over here. And we fix check everybody. How can you fly there? Wait. He's fine. How big is you the hole? You said that there wasn't a hole in No, he said there wasn't a hole in the roof. See, there's no hole in the roof. He's fine for the fucking hole in the Aren't wall. we blocking it? No. We're in front it's of it. We've got ranged weapons. and we surely it's be able to attack it. But the yeah, as I said, it's big. This, this, okay. this, this, um, this is big enough. But basically, but it's an arch. wall. Arch. The whole it, wall. It, it, wasn't, reflex. it wasn't big enough for That's me wrong. to be stood there. To see 20 feet up, so the hole can't be that big. Oh, there's my reflex check. Uh, that's okay. Um, let's see, Jor. That's not enough. And Jor makes it. So, let's see, full damage on Cyrell, which is 6, 7 damage, Cyrell. Okay. Jor. Takes half damage, that's... I'm just quickly nipping to the toilet, you can probably just carry on, I should be alright. 
Oh, okay. Every two seconds at most. Joe is gonna. Not literally. Joe is gonna shoot up at the guy um, with his bow, and he's gonna hit, almost critting again, almost, almost, and does a amount of damage. Manticore is gonna. Um, it's gonna attack Valrak uh, for attack. It still takes minus 2 to its attacks. Um, that's 10 plus 10, 20 doesn't hit. Um, and bite attack. That's, this doesn't hit as well. Alexander, your turn. What do you do? Another launch bolt. Come on, fly my sweeties. Uh, you do 7 damage to it? Yes. Okay, so um, what do you do? Reload and shoot crossbow against Manticore. And I miss again. Yep. And you get another plus 4 to hit the Manticore. I if probably it still miss. Uh, I'm a dead guy. And now it's your turn. Good. Sorry, that should have been one and two. I'll just class it as a two because it's the higher one. It's still one of these. Um, yeah, I'm just going to mount hammer strike it. It really? seems relative, relatively. It seems uh, red, big, getting a bit of a baton, battery. Uh, oh, hang on. Hit. Did anything hit me? Did anything hit me and do damage? Nope. Nope. Oh, why do anything hit me? Hennessy, go. Oh, hang on. I get plus four to that. I don't think 17 still hits. No, you don't get a plus four. That's for your allies, not for yourself. I'm I'm friends with myself. <laughs> I'm gonna move in there. Could and, actually uh... could actually say I am the most important ally to myself in the body. <laughs> and attack the manicore. Uh, do it. Yay! Two damage. Two damage. Two damage. It, uh, it is at a low HP. Uh, or mode. Mm -hmm. So we all roll me a spot check. Spot. 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 Plus three. I do not see anything. You do not see anything. He seemingly from what you see. He He says bye bye bitches. And he flies away. Okay. Uh Joy is a bit confused but he React quickly enough to walk in and shoot the thing. Missing. Manticore is gonna go this way. Did you at least roll one when he missed? Valrak. Valrak, attack it. Any bonus? Nope. 1d100. <laughs> Somehow, you don't know. I don't know how this happened. Only you yourself know. Oh, oh that I can reroll it. No, I can reroll it. I can reroll it. A saving throw. Yeah, I can reroll it. It's not a saving throw. What's the saving throw? No. Um, you don't know how this happened, but you drop the hammer. I, I actually do. Uh, that's good. How does how, how, yeah you drop your hammer on your foot and it does like you will swing it for many like you basically swing it on your foot. That's not what I put in my table. 
my table says you have somehow managed to attack yourself instead of your enemy for your full damage roll. <laughs> it's basically what you did. Yeah, but you don't drop your weapon. No, 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 you didn't drop your weapon, but you kind of dropped your hammer on your foot. You, 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 just you don't drop your weapon, but you drop your hammer. No. <laughs> God damn. Put down the hammer. The idea is I, I was searching for an explanation for just hit your Sophia. Yeah, it, it goes around and that's down on you. Okay, right in the end. You hit your thumb. And the mantic or fries. Up and away, up and away it goes. And uh, I, I, I'd love to know how much movement speed these things have. Manticore, one no. The Manticore has a fry of 50 feet. And it's clumsy. It has a half. Yeah, doesn't matter. And it's already moved on the ground. You can still fly. It can only fly for half of it. No, no, no. That's not a full move, that's a half move. 30 feet, half move, 50 feet, half fly. So it flies out and goes away. Don't worry, you still get ad hoc experience. Okay, so let's count down what you guys killed. You guys killed three um, hob goblins veterans. You get a one ad hoc experience for a manticore. For two more gliders. And I think that Tricky, there's no way that thing could have flown away. Yes there is. There is no way that thing could have flown away. Yes there is. For a start off, it's classed as being a clumsy flyer. Yeah. That means it can only raise itself at a 45 degree angle. Yeah. And its up speed is half. Hmm. Well, let's see. Yeah, we, it, uh, it's not complicated so much. We've gone through three, three and ten minutes. So anybody who has a range attack to do, do it now. If you hit, you might kill it. I twenty-three. Yes. Finally. No, Cyro was the first one. Go, Cyro. Kill still. Uh, does, the is that a crit? Is that a crit? Damage. No. Or damage. It's got you don't plus four. It. It's got plus four Wait. for that as well. There is also Hennessy and me if I hit. Hennessy hits. Hennessy, go. Crit. Well, do I crit? You crit, you just roll the damage first. You need All to right. roll above two. You kill it. Yeah, just, yeah. just let's not complicate this also because it's been enough. And you kill it. It's underground. Okay, that is your spoils, guys. Um, Jor um, runs here. And says, "Hey, look at what look at what I found." And he picks up a parchment of the ground. I hereby declare five acres of land to be yours. He, Signed the Queen. He, he puts it down on the floor, and this is the, and this is what you see. This is the end of today of this week's campaign. This is dear adventurers. You, this is not the castle that the princess has been held in. This seems to be uh, a map of their plans. This is very important. And you found it. Um, you've, you're lucky enough. Maybe it dropped. Maybe he put it here intentionally. You don't know what, but this is the end. Maybe the DM put it there. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. This is the end of this week's campaign. So let's go. Um, let's go for shoutouts. So, Gary. I'd like to shout out to my brother who will never watch this, but anyway, he's banged his missus hard enough to get her pregnant, so I'm going to be an uncle. <laughs> Which is a worrying thought for everybody who knows me. However, it's, got, it's, a, good, it's a good thing that he's having a bambino, so yeah, my, my shout out this week goes to him for banging his last hard enough to make a baby. Because that's how it works. For anyone who didn't know, the harder the more chance. Like roll into crit, basically. Interesting idea. Okay, Alex. Um, thank you for watching. 
And um, thank you for watching. Nobody died again. Almost the mage almost died a couple of times or four. And, rogue. and a rogue. I'm disappointed in my mantic work. We all survived at the end. Okay. Heck. Shout out to the tankiest mage. The person who or invented Alexis. the electric yes. <laughs> the best healbot and the person who invented the electric heal elixir. Without him nothing would have been possible. <laughs> Interesting. It's Tell quite interesting you. because even after you did, after you got rid of that potion, you still managed to technically cast electricity yourself. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'd like to shout out to all the enemies we just killed. Sorry, guys. Okay, and then that would be the end of uh, 3.5 Dungeon News. Uh, week three. Um, well, for my own stuff, guys, um, you've got Twitter down to follow, and this is gonna go to YouTube. We've got our other shows as well. The Eye of the Storm. Simon says just finished the uh, the fourth adventure, which is awesome. I recommend you watch that. And if you're not a Twitter person, you can always uh, enter our Steam group, and that's where I usually put uh, notifications for what's happening um, in that day or just sh uh, soonish before we start. Uh, yeah, uh, I think we're gonna be seeing each other next Tuesday, same hour, for 3.5 Dungeoneers Week 4, and let's see what the players make of this map, and how the adventure goes on. Okay, see you guys later then. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.